Hello everyone, so welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about creating a 3D solar system animation with the Yersina engine. So this is just going to be um, an animation of our solar system, and we're going to be writing this in Python. And so before we begin, I want to uh, just say three assumptions that I'm going to make when making this animation. And the first one is the trajectory of each planet is going to be a circle. Um, this means that each planet is going to rotate an orbit around the sun in a circular motion. Number two, it takes the same amount of time for the nine different planets to revolve around the sun. And this doesn't necessarily reflect real life because in real life, each planet revolves around the sun in a different speed and different uh, time. But just for this animation, we're going to have each planet rotate around the sun at the same time. Uh, number three, each planet is 40 degrees apart from its two neighboring planets. And this is because we have nine different planets, and 360 divided by 9 is 40 degrees. And so let's begin writing our code. So since we're using the Yersina engine, we want to just write from Yersina import star. And we also want to import the uh, NumPy uh, module. So we're going to be using NumPy as well. So we want to import NumPy as np. And let's create our window. So create a window. We're going to have app is equal to Yersina. And let's create a sun. So we can have sun is equal to entity because we're creating an entity. Model is equal to sphere uh, since our sun is going to be a sphere. Now we can have a color is equal to color dot yellow and our scale is 1.5 scale is equal to 1.5 so we set the con the uh, sun's color equal to yellow so we just add an app that run and if i run this we should have a sun in the center of our screen and we do so we have a nice yellow sun in the center of our screen and let's add in our other planets so what we could do is just copy and paste this sun entity and let's paste it nine different times so one two three four five six seven eight nine i think that's nine one two three four five six seven nine okay and let's just change these to uh the names of each planet so this is going to be mercury this is going to be venus earth Mars, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Neptune, and we have Pluto. And let's also change the color of each different planet so that they are distinguishable. So let's change this one to gray, change this to orange, orange. How about we change this to blue? We can change this to violet, uh, red, white, cyan, gold, pink, and we also want to change our scales. So we don't want each planet to be the same size. We want to scale each planet proportional, uh, somewhat proportional to its real size. So Mercury is going to be, instead of 1.5, 0.2, it's going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.6. Uh, this is going to be 0 uh, 0.5. This is also going to be 0 0.5. Another 0.5. And lastly, Pluto is going to be 0.2. So uh, now if I decide to run this, then let's see what happens. Well, we can't really see it because the sun is just covering each planet. So let's add in some movement, right? Let's first create an update function. So at the top of our code, let's create a function, update. And remember that this update function is called once per frame. And so we can have 
uh, we want to create a global variable, and this is going to be t. So t is going to be equal to negative uh, numpy dot pi, and we're just initializing t as negative pi. Now we want to create our global variable here. So global t, yeah, global t, and after each update function, so after each frame when this update function is called, we want to increase our t value by 0 0.02. So t is equal to the previous t value plus 0 0.02. And now what we could do is we want to have an angle value. This is going to be equal to numpy dot pi multiplied by 40 divided by 180. And so the planets are 360 degrees. Uh, divided by 9, 360 divided by 9, and that's equal to 40 degrees apart. And, let's see. Now we also want to update every planet's uh, position. And so what we could write is, let's first do this for Mercury. So we want to have a radius value for Mercury. This is going to be 1. And uh, let's change or update the, uh, update Mercury's x value. So mercury dot x is equal to numpy dot cosine t times radius underscore one. We also want to do this for the uh, z value because we are moving on the x z plane. So mercury dot z is equal to numpy dot sine t times radius. And this is going to be uh, of the revolving trajectory of each planet, which is a circle. Which is a circle. So this is going to be the trajectory of the planet Mercury. And since we finished this with Mercury, we don't have to rewrite this every single time. So now we can just copy and paste this for Venus, and I'll just change some values. I'll change radius 1 to radius 2, and I'll set it to 1.4. I'll change these to radius 2, and I'll make sure this is Venus. So, Venus, and I'll do this uh, eight more times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so, this should be all the planets. So, now I just have to uh, change each value. So, radius 3 is equal to 1.8, it's going to be radius 3, radius 3, this is going to be Earth, Earth, 4, 4, 4, I'll quickly change these to 5, I'll just go down the line, so 5, 5, uh, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 10. I actually don't think we need a 10. Uh, but let's go back here and let's change this from Mercury to, oops, uh, to Mars. Mercury to Mars. This should be, the radius should be. 2.2 and oh yeah we should also add in our uh, angle so for uh, Venus this is going to be plus our angle which is going to be 40 degrees so plus angle now for Earth we want this to be plus angle times 2 plus angle times 2 this uh, Mars is going to be plus angle times 3, plus angle times 3, uh, let's see, this is going to be Jupiter, 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 plus angle times 4, plus angle times 4, this is going to be, uh, let's see, 2.6, now, this is going to be 3, Mercury, this is going to be Saturn, 
plus angle times 5, plus angle times 5, plus angle times 6, plus angle times 6. This is not going to be Mercury, this is going to be uh, Uranus. Uh, this should be 3.4. Now we'll set the radius of this to 3.8. This is going to be Neptune. Neptune. Neptune plus angle times 7. Plus angle times 7. And we have this one. We want to change this to instead to 4. And this is going to be our last planet, which is Pluto. Pluto uh, plus angle times 8 plus angle times 8. And it looks like I did add an extra one, so I'll just delete this. So now, I'll, if I run this, it should show a really nice animation. And there you go. So we have a nice animation of each planet orbiting and rotating around the sun. And this is a nice side view of the 3D solar system. So if you wanted to see a top view, you could change the Z variable here to Y. Or you could just add a camera to the scene and adjust the camera's position and angle, which I'll talk about in the next video. And what I mean by uh, changing the Z to Y is right here. So instead, if we wanted to look at a top view, we could change this Pluto.Z to Pluto.Y. And now this will be on the, we'll be viewing this on the X, Y plane. But for now, I'll just leave it as Z. And this is just the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.